Jan Cammy, University of Western Ontario, who actually just a few weeks ago uh, announced the uh, discovery of C60 molecules and C70 in interstellar space. Amazing. I call it the third man, actually. Um, you know, third man Orson Welles lurking in the shadows and the sewers of Vienna just after the war, a shady character, and then the light goes on uh, in an upstairs window and you see Orson Welles for the first time in that uh, movie. And the C60 is the third form of carbon, certainly the third well-defined form of carbon, um, and it's been lurking in the galaxy ever since, well, probably carbon came out of a carbon star and uh, it's still uh, got a few puzzles for us and disappeared again. Is it responsible for the diffuse interstellar bands? I think it probably is. Uh, question three. You have suggested that the fullerenes might play a key role in solving an old astronomical problem, the diffuse interstellar bands. What are your current thoughts about the carriers of the diffuse bands? Well, I should have read it beforehand. I like to answer questions spontaneously, then I don't get confused. Um, in this case, I've half answered it. Um, when we discovered C60, a second reason for doing the experiment was to try to show that carbon molecules were involved in uh, a puzzle that's been um, a, a problem for 90 years. Some diffuse bands in the interstellar medium. and. Um, I and many others think carbon's involved, and I think it must be. We did the experiment uh, partly as a, as a stepping stone to a more complex experiment to show that perhaps these bands which are seen all over the place, they're called the diffuse interstellar bands, uh, might be carbon chains, an idea put forward by Alec Douglas, a friend of mine who is at National Research Council and friend of many astronomers many years ago. Uh, we never got to do that experiment because C60 turned up and diverted our attention. Um, but my feeling is it's coming out of stars, out of carbon stars, and therefore it's been around all the time. And here is this material uh, which is all over the place, many, many stars seen towards reddened objects, where there's dust and carbon dust, presumably. Uh, you see these features, and none of them have been identified. And we've done spectroscopy for you know 150 years. We we've done a lot of spectroscopy. We've got every molecule, and yet not a single feature has been been detected. Yet here is C60, this amazing character, the third man, lurking in the galaxy all these years, and we've only just discovered it. So it seems uh, highly plausible to suggest that some C60 derivative is involved. Now it could be a hydrogen molecule or I, my feeling is it's a charge transfer spectrum where a metal atom can stick to it or some atom and f have these features, though my colleague um, John Meyer in Basel suggests they'd be very broad, which is probably true. So I think it's either endohedral C60, either C60 with an atom on the inside or C60 with um, some um, atoms attached in some way to it. Um, it's just too strong a circumstantial sort of situation that they've been seen for 90 years, we don't know what they are, we don't know, they've never seen these things on Earth and yet C60 has been lurking around on Earth and actually is also in Bunsen burner flames um, and we've only just found it. So I think um, the diffuse into band, interstellar bands, I think the number's nearly up. I think it well, I would do believe that it, C60 was involved in some way.